three months since the derecho wiped out billions of dollars of property, trees and crops across Iowa and the Midwest. KCCI senior reporter Todd Magel shows us the unusual way a Toledo dealer is trying to get his insurance company to pay to repair his damaged property. Des Moines is just about finished cleaning up its derecho damage. It's a bit of a different story in the small town of Toledo. The August derecho has been called the biggest thunderstorm in U.S. history. It hit hundreds of towns, including Toledo, northeast of Des Moines. I've helped clean up with a few tornadoes over the years, but nothing like this. We're, we're everywhere you look for miles and miles. It's just complete devastation. Veteran car dealer Joel Tice is a derecho victim. He owns this closed Chevy dealership, which was nearly destroyed by the storm. The building is torn to pieces. But this was only the start of his troubles. His insurance company, Federated Insurance, told him they would not pay for repairs. So he filed a state and now federal lawsuit that demands Federated pay $932,000. And then he did this. He put up a billboard-sized sign designed to make sure everyone driving by knows what happened. Why should it take me putting up a sign to make them do what's right? You know, I get several texts or phone calls every day since I put it up, and, and it's people... Uh, saying, yep, you know, my insurance company is doing that to me too, Go, good for you. Court records show Interstate denies they should pay damages. They say Mr. Tice specifically instructed Federated to remove the subject property from the schedule of insured properties effective June 1st, 2020. Tice disputes that. Now it's up to a federal judge and jury. Right's right, and they should do what's right. We reached out to Federated Insurance in Minnesota. They say because there's pending litigation, they can't go into too much detail, but they do say they are again reaching out to Mr. Tice to see if they can come to some kind of resolution. Todd Magel, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader.